idea of Toysember is not to associate it with any particular holiday, but since Christmas is celebrated in this house, I can't help but make a big deal out of today. So, if you celebrate today too, thank you for pulling yourself away from all the new goodies to join me as I review the Legacy Power Morpher. This is the centerpiece of the 20th anniversary of Power Rangers, produced as a true collector's item. Everything is done for collectors in mind. The silver shells are die-cast metal with painted applications rather than stickers the original toy had. Even the handle is die-cast, and really, the back is kind of the coolest part. It's fully molded and painted to match the look of the original Morpher from Jew Ranger. Yes, Sentai fans, this is the closest we will ever get to a complete selection Jew Ranger Dino Buckler. That's all the more true because it comes with a holder that clips to the front of your belt or pants and holds the Morpher in either direction. Great addition. Then there's the Power Coins, also die-cast construction, and in this case heavily weathered with a black wash paint job to make them look older. I personally think it's a bit too heavy, but it's a nice try. They can plug straight into the front of the Morpher, no twisting them around like the original. To eject, you press in the back and it pops straight out. Much better than the old toy. Which I guess I should show. This is also a fair bit bigger, much closer to a full-size replica. No matter what coin is installed at the time, you get the same sound effects. Which I honestly don't like the sound of. You expect a show accurate noise, the lightning clang and the electric noise at the end, but that's not here. But do you know what is? The freaking theme song! That is awesome. Few things to note. One, the button is unfortunately placed. It's kind of a stretch to get the thumb there, which makes it a pain to get the theme song out when held properly. I also notice one of the lights doesn't like to go off during the song. Both are issues fixed in the newer ones, as well as the gold versions of this toy. For collectors, it's an amazing piece. I mean, it really does feel like a $60 prop replica. It just doesn't play like a $60 toy. I mean, just looking at my shelves over there, I can see so many other toys I paid the same price for and had way more to them. So, kind of a buyer beware thing. You know, it's mostly nostalgia you're buying. Well, I know this has been kind of a Transformer, transforming robot centric toy sember, but I do have one that I promised to review. So when we open tomorrow's present, I'm gonna settle some debts. <laughs>